How to use Hex.ai. Hey everyone and welcome, we hope you're all doing great. In this video I'll be talking about Hex.ai, the platform, and how to use it, how to get started, and all you need to know about it uh, from a beginner's perspective. So I'm not going to really dive into all the details, but it's just going to get you started with Hex.ai. So basically Hex.ai is a platform that offers like many different AI tools that are going to help, help you with writing, rewriting uh and just plenty more and we can just talk about that in a second when we go to the actual uh apps that they provide they have hex writer which is going to help you write bypass gpt sa gpt i mean article gpt browser gpt desktop GPT, and just plenty more you can see a lot of them uh or their stuff if you just visit the website hex.ai you can just feel free to scroll down. It's just going to show us more about what each application actually does here. So, for example, bypass, humanize AI text to bypass AI detection, which is actually very nice. And then here are more stuff like browser GPT brings uh, hex AI to wherever you write and work, which is just going to be a browser. Uh, and then here, here we have the tutor, which is go you can actually use it for free. Uh, SA GPT and more. So. Um, now, let's talk about a, one important factor about Hex.ai. Is it free or not? Well, mostly it's not. You can actually try it for free, uh, test things out for free, but then at the end of the day, you will need to subscribe to actually use it for further stuff. I will show you exactly what I mean. If we just go to pricing, go to any of them, for example, Hex Writer, it's going to take the pricing page, and you can see um, how much it's going to cost there you go. How much is going to cost to get Hex Writer? You can see it's going to be $8 per month for the basic and more uh, if you want to upgrade to other plans here, for example, Pro and Unlimited. And if you want to, the bypass is going to also be going to be, uh, you know, different pricing and so on. So you can see SAGPT, all those pricings for you. Now, you may not need to just go ahead and subscribe to all of them. Just go ahead, test things out within the free version and then see which one actually helps you best and really offers you the best help and just go ahead uh, and subscribe to that. So I'm just going to go ahead, click on uh, the actual homepage and I'll show you how to get started. So you can get started for free, like I said. Go to hex.ai and then click on start for free. Here you will need to do a simple signing up process. I'm just going to do it with Gmail because it's just going to be a lot easier for me. But you can continue with email if you want to. And once you actually go ahead and sign up, it's just going to take us to another page where they're going to ask us pretty much a few questions. I believe three, uh, which are going to help them, you know, understand us better uh, as the consumer and know what to help us with. So here select your role you will need to select your role i'm just going to go ahead and select a specific thing here for example product manager for some reason click on next and we can just uh go to the next question how big is your workforce uh, force solo uh next and then how did you discover our ai writing tool i'm just going to add uh ba -ba 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 -ba, word of mouth click on submit and you should get get going here they're going to also ask you which app would you like to use uh don't worry i believe in the actual free version you can just test all of them out but we can just select one to get started for example uh hicks writer and now to begin with hicks writer is going to show us a prompt but i'm just going to exit out of here so here we have all the apps. Uh, this is basically the dashboard here. And on the left, we have all the apps that we can use. We have the hex writer, content rewriter, editor, uh, email writer, and so on. So we can actually see other apps here as well, like the bypass, essay, and more stuff. So you'll need to locate the actual thing that you want to work on. So for example, hex writer. And in here, you can see all the templates here, which are going to help you with what exactly do you actually want to write, you know? So, for example, if it's translation, talking points uh, to a paragraph, this is going to be very uh, useful for those who want to create a paragraph. And, you know, they have a topic in mind, but they don't really know exactly what to say about it. AI, AI prompt generator, this is going to be um, 
like chat GBT is just basic, you know, uh, you write a prompt and just going to generate some text. Uh, FAQs, FAQ answers, those are going to go hand in hand and so on. I'm not going to go through all of these. There's plenty, as you can see. So this is why it's very, very powerful to use Hex AI. But for example, let's just go to talking points to paragraph, click on this template, and we can actually go ahead and generate some text for a specific paragraph so i'm just going to wait for it to load it shouldn't take too long um and it's just going to load the editor here for us so so in here we have some tools to use here is going to be the actual talking points where you will need to add the prompts uh which is going to help the ai obviously understand your paragraph better uh, and then here we have also more stuff. For example, target audience. We can select uh, proper ones. For example, here we have everyone, shoppers, uh, college students, new parents. Obviously, we're in the on the free plan. The free plan, but by the way, it does exist, but it's just going to give you limited uh, options here, as you can see, and also a limited generation of text. So it's not going to be unlimited text. Uh, so this is why you would want to upgrade. But you do actually get some uh, out of the free uh, plan. So here, generally speaking, we are just going to go ahead and select everyone. Uh, here we have tone of voice. Again, we can just select a proper tone. We can just do friendly, for example, instead of, um, what was it? Professional. We can just do friendly or exciting. I think exciting should work. Language English, but there's also more uh, languages to choose from. Plenty of languages, actually. So you can see. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it as English here. And now we can just go ahead and generate, obviously, after we uh, add the text that we need here. We can just exit out of here and add some text. Here you will need to add the prompt. I'm just going to go ahead. Um, and here you will, obviously, it's going to be for paragraphs. So you'd want to add the talking points. Here you can see some samples here or, or examples within the field here. I'm just going to come up with something crazy and just get back to you. Okay, so I just wrote some stuff about Hex AI and how you should use it. So let's see let's see how it's going to work out. So I'm just going to make sure you have all of these correct. You have your talking points and click on generate. Obviously you can separate the talking points for them to, you know, have more uh, input. So here, discover the incredible world or world of Hex AI, and you can see more stuff about it. So you can just feel free to copy, and you can have this already done for you. And if you want to change something, you can just again delete, work on something else. You get the thing, and you can just go ahead and uh, do that. So this button here is going to use the actual app, which is the bypass. So if you actually want to use this, um, be mindful of it, and you can just go ahead and use it. And it's going to actually bypass the AI detection. Uh, and you can click on humanize. I'm not going to do it, but you can click on humanize, and that's actually just going to show you uh, a more humanized version of the text here, which is going to be within the in uh, output, I mean. And this is how to use Hex AI, uh, the writer. Or let's let's see if we can test one more thing before we leave. Here you can see free version is going to give you 300 words. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and try something else. Let's try SAGPT, for example. Uh, here is going to obviously be or help us create essays with AI. And let's see if we can actually can try it with the free since we started using the writer. I believe you can you can actually do it, but I'm just going to take you through how to go about it. So here we have generator, uh, writer, hex, scholar, chat. I'm just going to click on uh, generator and get started. Here you can see generate plagiarism free essays and scholarly papers step by step. Uh, click on that and it's just going to take us through the process. Now, for some reason, my, my browser is just very slow and heavy when it's loading this stuff. It shouldn't be the same for you. I believe it's because I'm recording and um, I don't know, I'm not updating or something. So here you can just go through these steps. So brief is going to be describe your topic. Um, reptiles. 
I don't know why it went for reptiles, but I'm just going to, to okay, so let me just do something more uh, real, okay, wait, I'm really bad with examples, I just went with this, my topic is about the tallest buildings in history behind them, now I need to note, the more details that you add in this section, the more accurate it's going to be when they actually generate it for you. So make sure you actually add as much as you can. You do have a 500 character limit, so make sure you have that in mind. But feel free to add all the chapters that you want to talk about and so on. Essay type, I'm just going to go for um, basic. Uh, words is going to be 100 to 200 and then language is just going to be English. Uh, and just click on generate titles. It's going to take us to the next step, which is going to be generating titles. Here we can actually just enter our own title. So I'm just going to go ahead and do... Actually, let me just select one of them. Sky's the limit. Exploring the tallest buildings. Click on generate outline to go to the next step. So here we have outline one and outline two, and we can just compare them if you want. So here, historical background for of tallest buildings, we can see early sky, skyscrapers and their significance um, and more stuff here. So you can actually see them and you can actually edit them, which is not uh, only see them, but you can take place when it comes to um, outlining the actual essay before it's complete. I'm going to go for essay outline too. Obviously, I didn't read through them uh, to compare them, but generally speaking, you would want to compare these two before you do that. Click on generate essay, and this is just going to be the final step. It's going to take a little bit of time, and we can just go ahead and uh, wait for it, and we have our essay here. It's good. It's... Um, you can actually edit it so it's not going to be uh, like you know stuck with this obviously so you can just feel free to change whatever you want to change and when you're happy with this you can just feel free to copy it and leave and you're good to go so you can just edit things out add more stuff if you want to and this is pretty much how to use it now i did just use two apps which is going to be the essay writer uh, and um the actual writer itself hex writer but i believe it's just going to be exactly the same for the rest of them except for browser obviously because it's a browser um but yeah it shouldn't be too difficult to use any of the hex ai uh tools it's very self-explanatory i just showed you two examples of what you can do with hex ai there's a lot of templates a lot of friendly user interface and it's just ai so it's going to be very easy to use with that being said, I hope that you liked this video and that you actually found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.